What segment I want to start this week and moving forward is reading through a chapter a week right here from a book. The book that we're going to go through first is The 48 Laws of Power. Heard it was a good book, read a little bit of it, um, but figured you might like to hear Audible as well. And without any further ado, Start on chapter one, chapter. Law of one. Never outshine the master. Judgment. Always make those above you feel comfortably superior. In your desire to please and impress them, do not go too far displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite. Inspire fear and insecurity. Make your masters appear more brilliant than they are, and you will attain the heights of power. And some of this stuff is kind of mentally fucked up, but it's interesting. Tran transgressional transgression of the law. Nicholas Fouquet, Louis the Fourteenth's finance minister of the first years of his reign was a generous man who loved lavish parties, pretty women, and poetry. He also loved money, for he led an extravagant lifestyle. Fouquet was clever and very much in, in indiscipl indispensable to the king. So when the prime minister, Jules Marzin died in 1661, the finance minister expected to be the named successor. Instead, the king decided to abolish the position. This and other signs made Fouquet suspect that he was falling out of favor, so he decided to integrate himself with the king by staging the most spectacular party the world had ever seen. The party's ostensible purpose would be to com commemorate the completion of Fouquet's Chateau Val le Vicomte, but its real function was to pay tribute to the king, the guest of honor. The most brilliant notably of Europe and some of the greatest minds of the time, La Fonte La Roche Foucault, Madame Sevenel attended the party. Molte wrote a play for the occasion, in which he himself was to perform at the evening's conclusion. The party began with a lavish seven-course dinner, featuring foods from ordinate from the ordinate never before tasted in France, as well as new dishes created especially for the night. The meal was accompanied accompanied with music commissioned by Fouquet to honor the king. After the dinner, God damn, I'm such a story. After the dinner, there was a prominent, a promenade. After the, the, the after the dinner, there was a promenade through the chateau gardens, the grounds, and the fountains of Vole Vicon, where they were to be inspired for Vercelli's. I'm fucking not doing this. 